show us how to lighten our rooms up in style is the brightest guy we know. Oh, and shucks. this guy right that. here. It's true, you are very bright. Why, thank you. I gotta you. be on my toes every time I'm around you. <laughs> Come on, keep up, Ken. This is fantastic. Uh, you're gonna show us how to make these great pendant lights, something you know I love, absolutely. Yeah, I love accent lighting. You know, it's, at, it's great to add a little bit of light here and there in a room, and they can be expensive. So I wanted to find a way to make them chic and make them inexpensive. They're almost always expensive. Yes. So incredibly true. Let's just start, get right okay. to it. I know we got a lot to do here. So what are we starting with? So we're starting with the material. And okay. here it's actually a rubber. I found this online. It's actually a material that's used um, to make gaskets. It's a food grade silicon. Um, you can get them online. Yeah. It's very inexpensive. Okay, just and online, easy Just enough. online. And then um, I've got a pattern here, which you can also print out online. All I did was take this, lay it down, give a good trace around that, and then I'm just gonna simply cut it out. This this silicon is great, because you can just cut it straight with scissors. You start cutting like fancy. this. And the shape may look a little bit like a crest symbol or something, but it's designed to be able to fold it and kind of round it together and look fantastic, right? Yes, exactly. It won't look like this when we're done with it, for sure. And I gotta say, I alluded to the fact that I love pendant lights, and it's all about the lighting, as we know. Uh, I, you know, at my house, I've got five uh, hanging pendant lights in sequence where our staircase Which you did yourself. Which I very found impressed. the lanterns, and I wired them, and I hung them myself, and I also did the ones in our living room as well. And I gotta say, the way that I did, I went out and found these lanterns, and then kind of built the electrical aspects and put it together. And you know, it, it definitely saved me a lot of money, but this is gonna save us even more. Well, what, what I think is great about that is that lighting, what I want everyone at home to take away, is that lighting doesn't have to be something that you find at the store. You can really create lighting that will really work for your situation, yeah. and that's oftentimes gonna be much less expensive, and that's really what we're, what we're doing here. So you see, I've already no kidding. Yeah, cut this like out this. super yeah, quick. This out now, this silicon um, does not like any markers are gonna show, so you always wanna cut inside so you don't have any lines left. There you go. Okay, so then you got the outside of the pattern already right. cut and ready to go, and we've got our handy dandy hole puncher. So what I've done here is I've created a little grid that is an inch apart, sort of like okay. eight little holes, and all I'm going to do is go here with my little leather punch, which also works on this vinyl, and I'm simply going to punch out the holes on each one. Super easy. This is a great little tool if you don't have it. You've seen me use it a zillion times, and now you can see these little holes come right out. And as you're doing that, I just want to point out the fact that uh, the, the, um, the cord and the socket here that we're using that's going to be coming into play a little bit later, absolutely beautiful in no electrical store that I've ever been when putting together all of my stuff. Have I ever found anything quite like this? Right, here, here's I, a little tip. If you're not Cameron Madison, because you wired your own. Yeah. I got these. You want these to look nice. You want them to be a nice quality. And the best place to go, I found a place called colorcord.com. Okay. And you can get them in a zillion colors. I picked the gold and brass, but you can do any color to match your decor. Now, folks at home, what I'm doing here yeah. is I've bent this over. I've made my curled shape, because you can see that. And then I'm marking my second set of holes using using my first set. You want to do that because if you do it Otherwise, it's not going to line up. So set your first set and then punch out and that. And then punch out. And you exactly. do it also once you've cut the shape, so that way you know it's going to roll and be uh, exactly. You, know, and you won't have any, you any problems. And you're simply going to punch those out once again. Um, and I'm using the silicon, but I've. You, once you have this pattern, you can really do it with anything. You could do this with like a heavy industrial wool felt would be great. Um, you could do it, I actually my original pattern in the brown paper looked really good. But the secret is you want to use a non-heated bulb. Yeah, CFL I was just going to say that. That works uh, on any fabric when you're not using an incandescent bulb, which is a standard bulb, which obviously gets hot as we all right. know. But we are using a, uh, a low energy or energy right. uh, saving bulb. That's called a baby plume and it's not going to get hot. Now, folks at home, it's going to be expensive. Those are about 20 bucks a bulb but they burn 8,000 hours versus 1,000 for a regular bulb, so it actually ends up costing you about two bucks. That's incredible. So Think it all really the money works that out. you'll be saving, you spend a little bit more, your exactly. phone, but you save it in the long run. And not only that, they're getting so creative with the designs of these fluorescent, also some LED bulbs getting more and more creative. Exactly. They used to be a little bit of an eyesore. It's really fun. Okay. So now you see that I've got all my holes. Now all I'm gonna do is I took a pair of some gold cording here, I unraveled it, because I really wanted to oh, mimic the gold of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of scotch tape on the end, and all you're gonna do is just through the holes and lace it as you're lacing a shoe. Okay, you're and it ends up looking that, like that. Create the X, tie a knot underneath, it's that simple. Beautiful, I'm gonna come over here and use my, uh, my long arms. 
and pull this guy down here. I love gonna... having her around. No step stool <laughs> needed, no ladder needed. And then all Whoa. you're going to do is pop that right in there and then put in your baby plume and bulb. And really, you could use also an Edison bulb would look at this, but you want an attractive bulb because the bulb is part of is part of the look. Look how and I love that freeze, is. but you see that adds that accent and that punch to a room. Really makes it come. Those alive. look so expensive. I mean, Debbie calls you fabulous and frugal, and now I have to agree. I mean, <laughs> well done, Ken. You've done it again. Full instructions. Go over to HallmarkChannel.com, everybody.